Welcome to part one on finding the volume of a solid of revolution. In this series, we will take one region and revolve it both around the x-axis and the y-axis. We would apply both the disk and shell methods to each. That means we'll be solving four problems. Let me state the problem exactly. Here it is. The region bounded by the curves x minus 2y equals 0 and y equal x squared over 8 is revolved about a the x-axis, b the y-axis. Find the volume of the solids generated. Use both the disk and the shell methods for each case. In all these problems, we have to draw the region. The reason is we have to know how to slice it up into tiny pieces, either vertically or horizontally. x minus 2y equals 0 is a linear equation that represents a straight line and y equals x squared over 8 is a parabola, symmetric around the y-axis. It will be useful to find the intersections before we graph it, so let's do that. The intersection satisfies both equations. That means we're solving a set of simultaneous equations. We can either get rid of x or get rid of y. I'm going to get rid of y. You can try to get rid of x and see whether we arrive at the same intersection points. Here's getting rid of the y. Substitute y equals x squared over 8 into the first equation. We get x minus 2 times x squared over 8 equals to 0. The 2 goes into the 8. We get a 4. I like to get rid of fractions, so I'm going to multiply through by 4. We get 4x minus x squared equals 0. Next, we can factor out an x. We get x times 4 minus x equals 0. For a product to equal 0, one of the factors has to equal 0. So in this case, either x is 0 or x is 4. When x is 0, what is y? y is x squared over 8. y is 0 also. So 0 comma 0 is an intersection point. When x equals to 4, y is... 16 over 8, so y is 2. That means 4 comma 2 is another intersection point. Now we're ready to draw the region. Here's what it looks like. Straight line, parabola, intersection points, origin, and 4 comma 2. Let's take this region and revolve it around the x-axis. See the solid form? And how are we going to find the volume of this solid? We use integration, which is the sum of many tiny, tiny, tiny parts. It's an infinite sum. So we're going to cut this region up into tiny parts. How? Using vertical slices or horizontal slices. First, let's try vertical slices. So in this picture, you see a lot of vertical slices. Each one is revolved around the x-axis. I would like you to take just one of these, pick any one of these slices, and revolve that one slice around the x-axis. Can you picture what the resulting solid looks like? Just that one rectangle, okay? Wow, look what happened. A washer. Isn't that beautiful? I shocked myself drawing it. 
Now imagine doing that to every single slice. We end up with a stack of washes. And when you stack them all together, we'll get the solid. We'll do this washer problem in part two. Before we do that, let's try to slice the region horizontally. Cut it into as many slices as you can. And when each slice is revolved around the x-axis, what do we get? Let's just take one of them first, okay? I want you to take one of these slices and in your mind, picture it rotating around the x-axis. See that hollow cylinder that's generated? That's called a cylindrical shell. And here's a picture of one of them. So when you revolve each horizontal slice, we end up with a stack of cylindrical shells tucked inside one another. And by adding them all up, we'll get the solid. The shell method will be our part three. So I hope you look forward to doing these two problems. They'll be fun. I'll see you next time. Bye.